Welcome back to Zorondin's Worldly Foods, where I, Zorondin, eat some weird foods from around the world. Uh, today, I am starting the first in a series of, I think, probably three, maybe more, uh, episodes where I will be trying some Peruvian uh, foods, or candies, things like that, candies and snacks. Uh, my mother and father recently went down to Peru, uh, went to Machu Picchu and things like that, and they brought me back a big grab bag of things. They also brought me this shirt. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. Inca Cola. Um, I've looked up Inca Cola here, and it's a lemongrass soda that's one of the most popular drinks in uh, Peru. I, doesn't sound good. Lemongrass Cola. I mean, it's not a cola. It's very clear. It looks like Mountain Dew, honestly. Uh, but... I'd try it, you know, who knows. But on that theme, I've got these items, and we're going to try a few of them here. I am. And um, we'll see what, how we go from there. The first one I'm going to try, from what I've looked up, uh, first off, here, here's the packaging. If I can... There we go. It's a Carter brand Habas. Uh, it's an 18-gram package. Um, and the rest of it's... I mean, there's a bit of English on the nutritional facts, but that's about it. Uh, the rest of it is pretty much, I assume, yeah, it's Spanish. Um, but I did look up Habas here. I've got a page pulled up. And Habas is Habas bean or fava bean. So it's a peeled fava bean. Uh, I should have gotten some scissors or something to open these things with. Here's a pocket knife. That'll work. Open these up here, maybe. There we go. Uh, some of this stuff they got on the plane and some of the stuff they bought at a market... And I think they also got some at a hotel. And wow, these are uh, a lot bigger than I thought. There's one of them. Let's see if I can get it out of the light a bit there. There it is. Um, almost looks like a potato chip the size of, say, a Frito. Uh, yeah, definitely a bean. It's flattened and dried. And Let's give it a shot. Taste some salt there. Hmm. Mmm, definitely beanie. It starts off almost potato chippy. The salt right there, and it works, and it's nice and crunchy. But then you get through that. Now it's just like eating a dried bean. I don't know if you've ever had dried beans, but... Ooh. Oh. The end of it just lingers. It dries out. And doesn't want to go away. Ooh. I can definitely see people liking these. They're not horrendous. They're just not my thing. They they dry out. And I mean... The salt's plenty good. It's almost like... Actually, it's more like a sunflower seed. It's like a really big sunflower seed. Where sunflower seeds are okay because they go away after a bit. These just sit around and linger. I'm gonna give it another shot here. Yeah, very sunflower seedy. That that's the way I would describe them. They're like large, large sunflower seeds. Oh, not my thing. Oh, yeah, it's in my teeth too. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna be having is Donna Peppa. Uh, it is. I think it's, I think there's a brand that it's, it's Kraft Foods. Oh, let's see if I can, there we go, Donna Peppa. Uh, doesn't look racist at all on the packaging. And uh, the local brand is apparently Field. It seems to be a chocolate covered, or a chocolate bar covered in sprinkles. I mean, it doesn't seem like anything crazy and special. We'll give this one a shot as well. Mmm, I still got. Fava beans in my teeth. Excuse me for a second. Nah, use a toothpick there. I didn't want you guys to have to stare at that. Okay. Yeah, definitely what I thought it would be more look like, more or less. Um, sprinkles are falling everywhere. If you don't wondering that, move a trash can back over here. All right, so there it is. Um, yellow, green, pink, white sprinkles. That's it. Those, those colors. I'm going to break it in half here. Oh, there's some cookie in it. Oh, that's, that's actually, I think, yeah, there, I actually had two of those. Uh, so here you can see it's a lot thinner. Um, there's a bottom side that's not coated. And if we look inside of it, 
it was a bit of a cookie. So, this could actually be good. Definitely smells good. Hmm. Yeah, that's nice. It's a lot like, um, just like a biscuit in chocolate with some sprinkles, add some crunch. Sprinkles I don't think are necessary. I think I'd like it better without them, but no, yeah, that's really good. I didn't expect that to be that good. I will eat that one later. That, that one's good. Mm. Much better than the frickin' Abbas beans. Mm -mm. Anyways, I looked up some Madonna Peppa online. I really had trouble finding an English page for it. Um, I'm pretty sure it's from Peru. Specifically, like not an import or anything like that or a popular thing in down there. But it also looks like something that uh, a lot of people might make at home. I've seen a few images of them that are very different. They don't look like that specific brand of bar. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's a homemade dish, maybe even a cake. Like some of these are very cakey looking. So all the same, very good. Very good. I recommend Donna Peppa. All right, so we did Habas, we did Donna Peppa. I need a drink now. Mm. All right, next up is. Cornita, Coronon, Coronita, Coronita, probably, uh, chocolate flavor specifically. It's, it looks like a biscuit and chocolate again, or a cookie and chocolate, anything like that. It's by Field again, so I do expect a similar flavor profile here. So, uh, again, I tried to look this one up. I did find a website that's selling it, but I had trouble finding it in English. It isn't a Bisco product, by the way, so, I mean, a lot of those companies that we're used to in America are pretty much worldwide, and they make stuff all over the place that we don't see here in America or Europe or, any, you know, whatever. Hmm, they smell good. There's a, there's a look at it. You know, it looks like a, a small Oreo. Obviously not quite the same thing. The, the interior fudge is coming through the cookie, which is kind of cool. That's pretty good. Again, the cookie is very similar to a biscuit that you get with like cream, cream, chocolate cream and biscuits or chocolate and biscuits. Maybe a little sweeter. It's more on the cookie line uh, that we're used to here in America. But very pleasant. I'm going to try just some of the chocolate here. Very similar to the chocolate cream that Oreo uses, things like that. No, these are these are really good as well. Um, one of these broke and the cream fell off. I mean, you can you just basically do the Oreo thing too if you want. Split and peel. I'm gonna finish the one I'm eating. Those are really good. No, I really like those. Wow. It looked a little weird on the package, but that pays off. Those are good. I would actually buy those. The Donna Pepepa. Whatever. It's kind of good. I'm not a huge candy guy, so when I choose my candy, I try to be very restrictive and get some I really like. Hornita's really good. That is... That's good. Alright, we got one more for today. And it is going to be... Picaria, Picari Premium Organic Chocolate From the Tree to the Bar. Is exactly what it says on it. Um, it also won a chocolate award in 2012, World Gold, whatever that is. Uh, that's that sticker you can see right here. You can kind of read it. Anyways, this is a uh, lemongrass chocolate. Um, I don't know. Again, the back's almost all in Spanish. There's some numbers. Okay, 66% or 60% cocoa. So, it's dark chocolate. That's dark chocolate, I assume. Get it out of the little box here. Oh, it's a pretty wrapper. So, there's the wrapper. Got a nice cocoa bean on it. And uh, we'll open this up as well. Probably not use my knife on that one. It's not opening very easy. That's 
Yeah, I'm ripping all the way down it. That's annoying. Oh, oh, it smells good. I, I'm a big fan of dark chocolate. And it does smell good. So, there's just a broken off piece. It's basically your usual squares. We'll break off of two pieces here. Now, with dark chocolate, uh, you tend to, I at least tend to want to eat it by letting it melt in my mouth. I feel it tastes way better that way. You get a better, better profile. Uh, but there are two ways to eat dark chocolate. You can also chew it, which does change the flavor, favor, flavor profile. So, on this show, I like to chew one first, then suck one. Uh, just because, well, letting it melt in your mouth takes longer. So, let's go ahead and chew one. Here we go. Good dark chocolate profile. Hmm. Here comes the lemongrass. Hmm. Subtle, though. That's really good. Um, the lemon profile is very calm. It, it comes in a bit sharp, but then fades down. And it's still there. I can still taste it. And it's very different. You can tell it's not lemon. You can tell it's the lemon grass. There's a bit of odd flavor there, which is clearly the more grass angle from it. But, uh, good. I don't think it's something I would normally buy, but... As far as having it here at home already, I will probably eat it. But let's uh, go ahead and try one, letting it melt. Take a little bit of out. I'll take less time to melt this way. Now, for the sake of the video, I bit it a bit. More surface area. It'll melt quicker. Mostly chocolate still. There's some of the lemongrass. Hmm. Much more pleasant letting it melt. You got the bitterness of that lemongrass when you chewed it. Not getting that at all here. Very good. Again, not supreme. Not amazing, but uh, pretty good. And I do have... I don't know where I put any of it. I'll find it later. I do have another bar of Picari that we'll try in another episode. Which I can't look up what it is because I can't find it. Oh. Where the heck did I put it? I had a huge bag of all these things to try and it vanished on me. Really? Okay, well, not, not important. That doesn't pertain to this episode. It's bothering me, as you can tell. I'll find it. It's not a big deal. All right. Anyways, let's go over what we had today. Habas. Uh, dried fava beans salted. Tastes like giant sunflower seeds, which, if that's your thing, you might really like those. Uh, Donna de Peppa. Pretty good. Chocolate biscuit with sprinkles. Cornita, Coronan, Coronita. I think it's Coronita, like Corona, but either way, again, chocolate biscuit. Uh, more like cookie, the biscuit was sweeter, but very good as well. And finally, Wakari lemongrass. Good. Well, not, not amazing, not the best. Um, I much prefer a mint or even a pepper uh, chocolate. But good. It, I mean, I'll eat the rest of this bar for sure. So, not bad. I expected much worse for this get for this run. But uh, next time we've got some more chocolates, some more candies, as well as some weird biscuit breadstick things. Those will be interesting. But uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. I will have more Peruvian snacks and candies to come. Stay tuned. I have been running. Thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll catch you around the world.